scientist. Well, let me be a scientist now. I use logic, okay? But these people have built up their mountains on lies and ignorance, and they never, would it be David Icke or Linda, they never saw a UFO. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, and it, yeah. And it's terrible. And, and I'm going to be... The three and of us have. And I'm going to be on the, on the ship with her. You know, Linda, Linda, and I started on Hot Bear. When I made my first prediction in 1995 to be ready for a religious war. Um, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec, please. I'm going to lock my door. Just give me a second. Sure. <laughs> hey, this is not my dog. <laughs> This is live. This is this is live. Okay. We're live. We're live. Okay, though. so you're gonna be on that cruise. You're gonna be on that cruise. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna and, be on that cruise with her. Different and, uh, white people. I, Linda, is yeah. Linda going on there? Is Linda Moulton Howell going yeah. to be on? Yeah. 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 Now, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to Let's say. Let's talk is, about that a little bit before you get off air. But go ahead, Doctor. Yeah. Um, when ahead, I was. Your story. When I was uh, uh, on Art Bell in 1995, well before she even get close to coast to coast, um, I have people working in my house. That's why my dog is, is uh, barking. So yeah. what, I'm trying, what I'm trying to tell you is um, when I was on Art Bell, I made my first prediction. I said, be ready for a religious war. And Art Bell just screamed his head off. He says, what? A religious war? And that was well before Osama bin Laden, 9-11, and ISIS, okay? And, and it, uh, the, 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 actually, the radio show is still on YouTube. You just Google Dr. Thierry Outbell, and you'll be able to listen to that show. And you're going to hear him screaming about my predictions. Okay, now, Linda, I, I have been a steady guest on Coast to Coast for years. Linda has heard my UFOs experience. She has seen me in many, many conferences, and she has never, ever approached me to investigate me. That tells you mm-hmm. that our cosmic energy is very, very different. That tells, that tells you and that tells me and everybody else listening that the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, our personality, our chemistry is very different because she's coming from the darkness, the ignorance, the imagination, and the guilt of uh, that to and, and she would never ever have me to talk about the difference are in the you reality. Now, David Ike and Linda Moulton Powell are millionaires, right? And you're not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. No. Well, Linda, okay. Linda. I am gonna put my little dog in the bedroom. Hold on a sec. It's making too much noise. So <laughs> you guys keep talking. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep talking. No, I, yeah, I, we'll have um, the last 30 minutes. I'm, last 30 minutes for dog lovers. And yeah, we understand. We, and I have dogs. Janet has cats. So I'm a dog lover, but I like cats too. So. My dog used to do that exactly. When I had a dog, that's what she would do. She would go off yeah. and it's like, why are you going off? And then they have this conversation. So. <laughs> well, isn't anyway. that interesting? 4 11 2019, and everything strange happened, but he suggests it's not a coincidence that he's oh, right. a monster. Now, so that's interesting. Okay. 4 11 2019. Dr. Turi. I am back. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Story, Dr. That's okay. Yeah, I want to talk about story. the anomalous club we have and what we're doing together. Yep. But go okay, ahead, finish so, your story. So basically, um, you could see that um, a magnet would never attract a piece of wood. I represent the truth. <clears throat> My truth. Then every road leads to Rome. Understand that. I don't have the truth. I have a part of the truth. And so is TJ, Janet, and every single uh, person, truth seeker, doing his own job out there, okay? But my truth is my truth, and it's real, and it's well-founded, and it's real, okay? As far as some of these UFO talking head speakers, I'm talking about David Icke and Linda, uh, I do not think they are giving a real favor to humanity by using imagination instead of reality, by saying the moon is hollow, is a, is a UFO base. They are just totally out of order, and that is against my rules. You've got to be real. If not, don't even put your nose in the business. All right. Now, that is being said, I'm going to be um, on that ship, and I'm going to prove to everybody the reality of Draco on that ship. I am going to have everybody in the big, huge ballroom 
I'm going to have a nice little music. I'm going to turn the light off, and I'm going to hypnotize everybody. And I'm going to let Draco guide my words and guide me to help all these people to heal themselves or to have their craziest dreams becoming a reality. And that is the ultimate proof I am going to have to offer on that ship when I go there next October. It's serious. Yeah. So you're going to have like a guided um, experience. And so do you know how this unfold or it's kind of you have a container and it just happens within this, the parameters of your uh, experience? We do experiences too. Yeah. So it's kind of uh, where they I mean, go and what you get from it. I, I so am this, going... this uh, Draco fellow that came in to you, and I saw the picture. And that's mm-hmm. the one on your site. And let me get to it again. Make sure I have the right one because I'm going to grab it for your oh. page. So yeah, this but... is the one where you've got a, an orb in, the, in your, like around your heart chakra, and you've got your hands up. No, no, that's no, 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 honey. You need to no, click. Much... You need to click a, a message to the world. Then you're going to see that orb coming. Oh, to me. okay. Let me. No, that, that's the last picture. That. Okay. Yeah. That's the last one. That's the one that is finally coming out of my heart, which is my message going to the world. You have to see Draco coming in. And remember, it took place on uh, June 12, 2012, during a solar eclipse. So he shows the. So this specific- was this orb coming in. I've got the series. And so yeah. was this orb coming in because you were invoking it? Or nope. uh, what was going on? It, it was what happened is my wife wanted to take some pictures of the uh, uh, solar eclipse, and I said, "Well, you know what? Uh, you're not supposed to do that uh, because that's going to burn your retina or whatever it is." So we went outside, uh-huh. and then for some reason, she started to get that camera and click, and I, I left my home. I said, "What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't waste mm-hmm. pictures." And then that was it. I didn't know. I felt a bit weird, you know. Why? And I thought, why would she do that? Okay. And the next thing you know, when, right. I, when we look at the pictures, we saw that orb, and that's where I realized that Draco was coming in, and then it led me to make predictions, uh, which I'm going to be doing. I'm going to give you some dates. Um, uh, right. And give, yeah, we've got to do that. Yeah, we've got a couple yeah. minutes. But how do yeah. you know who this Draco is? Um, and that's the name, Draco? His name is Draco. He's from the constellation of Draco. He is part of the benevolent Draconis, which are the gardeners of this world. They are the ones that stimulate uh, humans to create beautiful things, to create technology that help uh, heal the human body. Uh, they are the guardian angels, as I said. They are totally opposite. They are the forces of the light. And then you have the reptilians, or what you call the reptilians, uh, which was a name created by someone out there in time, uh, which are doing the opposite and stimulating the darkness. Mm-hmm. And from that, that's basically what it is. It's all about the yin and yang. It's all about the, bo- the good yes. and the bad. Okay. So uh, what Christianity or religion um, Theologically, uh, refer as the devil or Satan or falling angel is nothing else than the reptilians, and they have uh, indeed uh, infected uh, every single uh, religious leader. Every single religious leader out there is infected because he's a leader of a religion, a religion that is going to be uh, completely opposite of uh, geographically, of course, than the one you were born with. And, and that is the chaos that was uh, stimulated and planted and uh, designed by the reptilians, including uh, uh, the various languages uh, that are also making uh, communication much more difficult. Uh, astrology speaks a universal language, which means you can be black, yellow, or green. Uh, you can be uh, uh, any age. Uh, astrology uh, kind of uh, bring you back to the unit. Uh, you have a set of stars, you have a rising, you have a dragon. 
So your universal uh, cosmic identity is, is reuniting us, is complementing us. That's the age of Aquarius in all its beauty. Uh, while religion separates, astrology just brings back together. You have a set of stars exactly different, but it's connecting you to everybody else because we all the children of this world are under the jurisdiction of all the stars, ultimately controlled by God himself. And God has enslaved every one of us to learn about it. We're running, um, we're getting short on time, but I want to give you time for your predictions and then TJ wanted to wrap it up with talking about the club. So let's do some predictions. All you got to do is to get a pen and write down April 20th, okay? That's about 10 days from now. I don't want to go too Mm -hmm. far. And April 27, I'm going to give you only two dates. The same dates that I gave on many, many of my registrar, including George Norrie. Um, April 20th, the keywords, I use keywords and I use quatrain. Again, if you go to drchurvy.com, you can click on my blog and you can see the type of quatrain I use to describe the beginning or the end of that energy that met us together today. Okay, so I'll explain in that newsletter. Mm -hmm. So April 20th, the key word is death and drama. This is going to be a plutonic window, a scorpionic window, which means anything about life and death, uh, the police, the FBI, secret, Russia. Russia is a Scorpio country. That's why Russia died and Russia is born again. Scorpio is the, princess, is, is the process of life and death and reincarnating. That's why Russia is dead and born, the USSR. Okay, so that means maybe a crazy person will kill a lot of people because the reptilians love. They really, really use that energy, uh, the same type of energy that was used uh, uh, to kill the people on Las Vegas. Uh, all this dramatic news when people kill each other, when the police kill innocent people or the people kill the police. Things under the blanket comes out to light. This is a wake-up call time, and it's a deadly time. So be careful what you do, what you say on those days. And 48 hours before and after the 20th, that window, the specific window will be activated. Okay? And because anything you do or say during this day will follow you for the rest of your life. If you do the wrong thing, wow. the materials are going to use that energy, and they're going to kill you. And they don't care about you if you're male, female, or if you're a kid. Be careful. All the explanations are offered in my website. Now, the next one is April 27. Now, this is uh, more of the, uh, uh, the keywords are shocking news, okay? Uh, news from the cosmos, technology, uh, maybe an airplane will fall down. Uh, an airplane is nothing else than a flying computer. Uh, earthquake for sure at six or above always. So that could ch- trigger a tsunami, a volcano, a tornado. God knows what. The key word is uh, uh, surprise, shocking you, or sudden release of energy. So if you, if you want to see UFOs, uh, uh, there's not a time for you to go out there because uh, the reptilians are going to use that window to come down here and stimulate all sorts of natural disaster. So if you catch them or if you attract them, they're going to be definitely the reptilians. Uh, you have to use another window if you want to go and see extraterrestrials. And people are taking a lot of chance not being cosmic conscious to go in the middle of the desert with a camera. Okay, so you got to be cautious. Oh, you, have, I see. you have to have a, a specific knowledge so that you do not attract the darkness or the reptilians, but instead the draconis. And believe me, the difference is tremendous. So these are the two. How dates. do you uh, come about? How do you determine these dates? Are you doing a like a chart? How do you predict these dates? I use my software. Uh, I'm able to uh-huh. go million. I'm able to go million years ahead or million years in the back. It's the same type of software that uh, that I, I look um, uh, to to see to, to see you on that very specific day. A child will be born, and this child will have those energy which make will make him very very vulnerable to the reptilian manifestation and infestation. Any child born during those two dates will probably sudden enough unless they're being taught to apply the part of God in themselves, which is their will through uh, cosmic wisdom, unless they have that opportunity, they're going to become killers because they're going to be hijacked by the reptilians. It is that serious. It is that serious. I did a TV show with George Norrie 
explaining everything. Sadly enough, uh, uh, the producer of that show didn't like me for some reason. He thought I wasn't egocentric because I was so honest and so direct and so confident. So he never...